I'm William Blundell, uh, I'm 19 years of age. Um, my handicap's four currently, I'm trying to get down to three at the moment. Really appreciate anyone that wants to offer a scholarship to me. Um, started golf when I was about 12 years old, uh, had the bug since then. Handicap, first handicap I had was about 36. Gradually come down, and falls the lowest I've been so far. Hopefully get down to about three or two by the end of this season. Um, been at Pabrick for about six years now, it's my only club. Uh, spent two years at Richard Jewish Golf Academy. It was a great experience. Got my handicap down from nine to four. Uh, previous competitions I've won. Uh, Order of Merit the past two years, the only person to win it in back-to-back -back years. Uh, last year, I got it with a record, breaking with 126 points. I think the nearest one to that was about 94 points. Um, in the running for it again for the third year this year. Uh, hopefully I can win that as well. Uh, club championship two years ago. Uh, I've been junior player of the year four years in a row. I've been club captain five out of the six years I've been here. Basically I just want to fulfil my dream of being a golf professional.
Also going back to when I was uh, first got down to five, started, first started playing county golf. I believe I was one of the first people in the club to actually achieve that. A um, lot of experience playing for the county. Played for the county for about three years. Um, enjoyed it very much. Like I say, got a lot more experience playing county golf, playing a lot of different courses, rather than just playing a specific one course. Um, played a great deal, played in a couple of county comps, a couple of top five finishes, a couple of top ten. Never a win, but uh, like I said, it's just getting used to playing under pressure, playing 36 holes in a day. Um, had a couple of good rounds, posted a couple of 72s at Yelverton. Um, Going back to Pabrook, some of our best rounds, shot one under, two under gross here. Since it's turned with a new nine holes, our best round is 73, which is one over gross. I uh, don't think anyone's beat the course record at the moment, so. I suppose golf's just been my dream, really. Uh, I've wanted to do it since I, like I said, when I first picked up a club when I was 12. Um, I think I've got a talent. I just like to take it a bit further. I think I've got to the point where I can't get anything more out of Pabrook, really. I've achieved pretty much everything I can here. Um, it's always been a dream. Luke Donald's one of my main idols in golf. Obviously he went to North West and I just think I can take it to the next step with the help of you guys getting me over there, accepting me. Um, I just want to fulfill my dream really. The par four ninth, uh, it's just under 400 yards. Pins on the left by the looks of it today, so I'm going to try and keep it on the right hand side. Preferably myself about 120, to 100 yards left in. Feels downwind, so get a bit of decent height on the ball. Walking up to drive, and as you can see, it's a pretty ideal position. Uh, got about 40 to 50 yards left. So as a drive, about 350, 340. Um, pins back left today. Green's are quite receptive, so I'm going to try and fly it pretty much all the way there. Got a 58 degree wedge. Let's see how it goes. Pretty good, bit left. Bait. Yeah, it's pretty good. Should leave a pretty much straight putt. I'm happy with that. Pretty happy with the second shot in. Not one of the best, but not one of the worst. Uh, first impressions, it looks uphill left to right, so you're gonna have to hit it with a bit of pace. <laughs> Just to be 100% sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's gone in. 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 Yeah, Birdie for uh, three shots on the par four knife. Which is at 400 yards. Uh, par three, par three tenths up the hill. It's just under 130 yards, or 129 to be precise. It's usually in between a pitching wedge and a nine iron. Today the wind's coming off the right shoulder, so I'm going to try and hit a pitching wedge up there. Probably aim about five to ten yards right at the flag, and hopefully let the wind do the rest of the job. Uh, the main factor of this is getting a penetrating flight on it to stop it on the green. Okay. A little bit further away than what I wanted it to be. Uh, just repair the pitch mark. I say I've got a decent strike and it got a bit of spin. Um, if I was being totally honest, I thought the wind would have come into play a bit more than it did there. It's definitely quite a tricky putt. So I've got quite a large amount of break towards the end of the putt. 
Um, I'm, gonna I'm not going to attack it too much. You can leave a tricky putt. I know it's a two or three foot bar, so I'm just going to get it anywhere around the hole. If it drops, it drops. It's going to be quite slow to start with, and then it's going to pick up pace as it goes on. Probably in about two foot right. Decent putt, just didn't attack it enough. Like I said, I've got an easy putt now, just for a tap in par three. Okay, it's an easy par. Um, not the best of first putts, but like I said, it's a, it's a par and it's out of the way now. Okay, so we've got the 11th here, par five. Reasonably short par five, actually. It's one of the main places to get a birdie on the course. Um, it's quite a wide open fairway. Goes uphill by quite a bit towards after about 250 yards. Preferably want to be on the left hand side, easy shot into the green. I'm just going to hit a high draw and hopefully leave myself uh, so I can get there in two on my second shot. <coughs> going to lean back on it as the wind's coming from the right side. Hit that really well. Did exactly what I wanted to do. Nice and high. Nice side draw and it's come off the left hand side perfectly. So like I say, got the drive where I wanted to. Um, probably left myself about well, well, 180 yards. The wind's helping with us today. After about 50 yards it's quite a drop so I'm going to hit a six iron. Try and get it nice and high to land on the green. Uh, I'm not going to go up and have a look at the, where the flag is. I just want to get it on the green and get a two putt. And walk away with an easy birdie. Strike that really nice. It's going to be dead centre of the green from where I am now. Should be an easy two putt wherever the flag is. Just debating whether to do a pitch and run here or do the putt. Uh, it's only about a yard or so off the green, so I'm going to go for a putt. Um, doesn't look like as much movement. Just going to go for my theory of the dustbin lid. So a foot either side, behind, or in front of the hole. And he's trying to see if I can get the easy birdie. Pretty happy with this second shot, maybe under clubbed it by one. But overall it was a good shot. Decent putt. It's just reared off to the right there. Not bad pace. Okay. Not the best of first long putts. Got the pace right, just maybe should have read it a bit more into it. It's pretty straight this putt here though. I'm just going to hit it firm with the back of the cap. Hopefully walk off with a birdie number two. Yep, happy with that. Good stroke and back of the cap. 